Welcome back to another toolkit. Today we're going to go over the TE 4x2 electric John Deere Gator. Let's get started. So let's take a look at a few of the features of this TE Gator. Uh, it's just based off of uh, John Deere's traditional TS and TX gators. Uh, the chassis is very, very similar, uh, but obviously what makes this different is that it's electrified. So I have no emissions that this is actually producing at all. Um, and so it does this with a 48 volt battery pack. Um, and so provides a nice, wonderful, robust uh, amount of power. Um, so you're gonna get all the way up to 13 miles per hour on this, um, completely silent operation, except for when you're in reverse and you've got a nice beep that goes in the back, which is a little annoying, but absolutely understandable for safety purposes. Um, so pretty simplistic in design. You're gonna notice that the same cargo box is on this particular one. And then I've got my twin seats here with high back um, on there. There is an adjustment option on these particular ones. Uh, I've got my cup holders right in the front. This particular one's got some side protection that leads up into that front bumper. The front bumper has a one and a quarter uh, inch front receiver on it, which is really nice. Of course, you've got the conventional headlights um, and that traditional John Deere Gator look. A little less traditional is what we have hiding underneath this cargo box. So let's go ahead and open that up. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the seat. And as you can see, this has got hydraulic assist, so hydraulically lifting it up. And under here, what I've got is that 48 volt battery system. So I've got a direct drive in, uh, electric engine underneath here uh, with that 48 ba uh, volt battery system. Um, it's got a nice long use time. Um, it really depends on what you're using it for. That really kind of depends on how much battery life you're gonna get out of these. Um, you know, it just depends. If I'm using it consistently throughout the day, you're obviously gonna burn through that charge a little faster. Um, John Deere and all of its literature doesn't really publish how long this thing lasts just because those usages are so different for each person. But I will tell you that I've had customers use it for a couple of weeks without plugging it into the wall uh, with light use around their property. Um, and that's fairly common. Um, on the dashboard, we're gonna have a uh, front, neutral, and reverse switch. Um, I'm gonna have that conventional park brake right between my seats. Um, this has a key on and off, just like you would see. Just when you turn that key on, you're just gonna be silent and you're just gonna see the electric panel kind of light up and I've got my hour meters there. Uh, and of course, this one's got the button for my uh, hydraulic dump bed. This particular gator is outfitted with uh, a turf tire. So uh, nice low impact on the earth uh, turf tire. Um, so really convenient to take around my front yard. Uh, even when there's a little bit of moisture in the ground, these aren't gonna do too much damage and, and, and impact that soil very much. And they won't compact the soil very much as well. One disadvantage obviously is gonna be that they're gonna have a little bit more weight because those batteries are a little bit more robust. Uh, I wanna say that this has a weight rating of about uh, 13 to 1400 pounds on it. So it is a little bit of a, of a heavier style gator, but those tires absolutely uh, allow for a nice flotation above the ground. So they're not gonna impact the soil as bad. So let's talk about the cargo box on this. This may look very familiar to you. Uh, it, it comes in almost all of my other gators. Um, I've got the same poly sides that are removable with that front tie down or that top tie down bar. Um, this particular one does have the spray in bed liner. You don't have to opt for that. You can also just opt for a black painted one. Um, this one also has the, the rear tail lights and um, backup lights. Um, so those are coming on this particular one. That is an option. Otherwise you would just get reflectors on the side. Um, the, ca the capacity on this is diminished just a little bit because it is electric. So I'm gonna have about uh, 500 pounds of cargo capacity in the back of this. And then I've got a tow capacity with my uh, one and a quarter uh, hitch receiver on the back of approximately uh, 900 pounds. So it will tow up about 900 pounds. You're gonna have the same style uh, automotive uh, tailgate. So I've just got one handle in the center, which makes it really nice. Uh, you've got an integrated ruler on the back, which is kind of a slick little feature. Let's talk about the charger on this electric gator. So um, 
you might be interested to know it's a pretty easy way to charge this. So all I have is literally a conventional uh, 120 outlet plug and that plugs into the side of this little charging panel right here. There's an LED that's located underneath here that's gonna show us when this is charging. And so it'll give you different flash patterns of whether it's charging or not, um, or whether it's complete when it's solid. So um, it is all controlled by a, a, a pretty advanced uh, charging system that's in there. And that will actually electrically turn itself off. So once it's plugged into the wall, I won't be able to drive this anywhere. It actually has got a, a, a kill switch inside of it, so it don't, won't let you drive it anywhere you know, for safety purposes. As far as how long it takes to charge, again, that kind of varies. Um, I notice when I'm around here in the shop, if I wanna charge one up for almost completely diminished capacity, it really just takes about an overnight charge. So uh, pretty standardized uh, charging times with these. Um, so it doesn't take too long. Other things that we're gonna notice on this particular one is that I can put kind of those canopies and roofs on the top of it. It's got the built-in um, spaces for accessories. Uh, there's some aftermarket companies that are making accessories for these that are really nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of this TE 4x2 John Deere Gator. Um, I hope you can see a place for it in the industry. I, I know I certainly can. I think this is kind of where the industry is trending. You know, John Deere's kind of been a pioneer in this electric vehicle market, and I think they will continue to be. Um, if I'm reading the crystal ball right, I think there's a lot more electric to come in our fleet. So um, that'll, that'll be coming down the pipe in the near future. But until then, if we can help you uh, bring one of these home, we would love to. We're starting to see a little bit more inventory, so please come visit our Pape Machinery dealerships, uh, and then we can see if we can get you one of these to your own house uh, to help you with all your projects. Thanks, and we'll talk to you soon. Hi, my name is Jason Hughes. I'm a territory manager out of Eugene, Oregon. I'm also a large property owner and own a lot of the equipment that you see featured in these videos. I hope you find this content helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below.